So let's start in a child's pose. Maybe today for child, having knees together, but either way you can open them up and drop your belly or knees together. If you open up and drop your belly, usually your hands are up reaching. Otherwise, knees closed, hands to the side. So just gently finding your way down in whatever version of Balasana child's pose you want. Maybe rolling your forehead from side to side, bringing relaxation in, getting that parasympathetic nervous system. That's the one that we need to be in more. That's the one where the body functions fully, the digestive system functions. And the sympathetic, that's the fight or flight. So we find ourselves in that too much. That's one of the one of the amazing benefits, many benefits of yoga is it engages that parasympathetic nervous system. So just breathing here, finding your intention, bringing in the joy in this beautiful weekend, beautiful spring holiday weekend, being thankful for all of the blessings we have and even the silver linings of the challenges. There's always silver linings to these challenges. So being home, exploring, reading, peacefulness, time to reflect, just breathe. And your next breath, we're going to move into rabbit and celebrating Easter weekend. <laughs> I thought I would see without flipping. So gently, if your knees aren't together, bring them together in that child's pose with your hands to your side. And then just lift your, your butt up and see if your hand's going to hold on to your heels. And roll, roll your head in closer to your knees and feel the expansion of your spine. So explore this position in rabbit. So just gently feeling your hands, engage your core, feeling your hands, holding the heels, and just feel the shoulders expand, feel the nice muscles wrapping around the spine, rolling over on the head, just carefully exploring this position, one more breath, and then just lower down on your heels and come up. Nice. You don't get to do that pose very much. I was thinking it's Easter, that's kind of fun. Let's inhale and bring the shoulders up and around forward and we'll make it kind of dance-like and come into it. Uh, sort of jazzy, right? And bring, open the chest. Have fun with the arms. Couple more times here. Maybe looking up and opening up your hands. Visualize yourself receiving all kinds of blessings and health and all of that. Now reverse. So just reversing the movement. May may slow down so that we can do it. I'm not used to doing these things. So when we do opposite movements, you know, that we're not used to just doing automatically. It's really good for the brain, training the brain, working different sides, different angles. And then just come into stillness, maybe wiggling in, spreading the fingers apart. Let's flip the hands up and really actively feel the arms really engaged and active. It's good for the skin on the arms. Just tighten up those arms and scoop up and feel it all the way from your core up. So reaching up and pressing the shoulders down. Really feel the activation of the navel and the core as you reach up, inhale. Exhale, twist to the left. Ah. So as you place that right hand against the thigh, so we're in rock pose. A lot of times this uh, twist will be in other poses. Like I said, I wanna kind of change it up a little bit. So twisting, looking, with the eyes and then roll them to exercise the eye muscles. One way and then roll your eyes the other. And then come back around. Bring those fingers out again, opening up, creating space for lungs. Cross your chest, press your shoulders down, flip the hands and scoop up active. Really tighten those arms, just Feel like you're pressing the air together, then reach up, shoulders press down, 
tuck the hips in, really feel the alignment of the spine and the core, the muscles wrapping around the spinal. Call on exhale, twist to the right. So each inhale straightens, each exhale twists more. And roll your eyes once you get to where you are and hold it. And coming back around. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and um, if it, how's everybody? Let's do half saddle. Just because sometimes full saddle is a little tweaky on the knees. So just roll out of that and have one, one leg coming back. Maybe the left leg. I'm starting with my left leg back and my right leg forward. So wiggle in and feel being grounded on the mat here, being square. So try not to lean over more on one side. So it's gonna be easier on one side than the other, but just really try to reach up with the spine, straighten. Let's inhale and reach. And if you need to put a prop to help you square yourself like we do in pigeon, that's fine. Exhale and hinge. So don't fold yet, just hinge and hold it. Let's warm up this right leg. <sighs> Maybe some real nice audible Inhale and exhale, bringing the oxygen in. Oxygen, think of it like water. You, when, you're, when you're exercising and you get thirsty, it's too late, right? You're supposed to hydrate before you feel super thirsty. So oxygen is the same way. Bring it into the muscles before your muscles scream for it. You'll get a better workout. Your muscles will function at a higher level. See if you can lower now, all the way down folding wherever you are. Maybe your hands are above or below your knee, on your ankles. Just breathe into this, feeling the sciatic nerves and the hamstrings. Just getting a nice healthy stretch here. A couple more breaths. And then gently just dragging the feet up that leg. Go ahead and bring the other leg out into staff pose if you want to roll back and forth just to kind of work out that right right glute and hamstring rolling a little bit there and then bring that right leg back so working on the other side here just wiggle in so you're as square as you can be again use any props that you need so that your hips are square inhale bring it up and reach exhale hinge forward just breathing here with the hinge, feel the core. Maybe playing with flexing and pointing your feet or staying with the flex. And then next exhale, just fold on down here. Melting in on this side. And then inhale, bring it on up. If you have a block or something and you want to play and just kind of see where your knees are for full saddle, just sort of bring that other leg up, knees apart. Go ahead and sit on a block and just kind of feel where the knees are. If this feels good, it's super good for your knees. If it feels tweaky, don't do it. But it is nice if, if it's not tweaky to keep doing this, you know, every week, just kind of check in because uh, it keeps those new joints, everything flexible. But again, if your knees are tweaky, it does not do any good to stress them. If you want to lower out of your block, just whatever feels good. You want to take your hands behind you. Maybe then lift the hips up a little and press down. Maybe go on your forearms. Just breathe here. And when you're ready, gently come forward. Maybe sitting back on your feet, kind of wiggle in here. And let's just go ahead and come back into, um, or come into Sukhasana, easy seated. So let's do a little spinal flex here. Maybe your hands on your knees or your ankles. And just slowly begin exploring a spinal flex. So instead of going front and back really fast, let's 
be mindful and explore all the degrees, especially as we start in between. You'll discover things like, you know, maybe at 20 degrees or 50 degrees or whatever, you find something and hang out there and work through it. So let's not be in so much of a hurry to go from zero to 100 or all the way front and back. Just explore those places in between. If you really serve your practice working through those little places and then you can begin more fluid movements once you sort of check everything out. Make it big, have fun, roll back, holding your knees, maybe bring your shoulders, really extend the back, bring the cave in the belly, come forward, just open it up. Inhale, open the chest up, feel the chest, chest lifting and the shoulder blades back. Having fun with this. A couple more times and then we're gonna move into circles and what we call in Kundalini a Sufi grind or a Sufis grind. So finding like your chin is making these big circles. And this should feel just fabulous. So we're gonna do one way three or four times and then reverse and do the other way. And if you wanna hang out and just kind of go back and forth from the front or the back again, just exploring what needs to be have a little attention, a little more attention, and then make sure in reverse. And then after your last, your next one, go ahead and come up. Bring our hands to the side, spider fingers again, just actively opening up shoulders, opening up chest, lift up. Feel the oxygen bring that into your body. Flip your hands, let's scoop that up again. Reach, and then come through forehead, thinking peace, heart, thinking compassion. And just spread the fingers and just lower down with core. And just reaching forward, really wiggle into this and stretch. And then sweep over to the left and stretch. Feel those side ribs opening up, creating space for the digestive system. We want that functioning. We want to get rid of the toxins. We want everything to move through and keep health in our bodies. Placing the left forearm down perhaps and reaching up and over lifting the chest, opening up here and reach. So really engage the core here, but open up those ribs. If you want to look up even. And then exhale down, ha, huh, and slide to the center. Maybe neutralize, readjust, wiggle a little bit. And then sweep the hands to the right. Just lower in here, grounding your tailbone, reaching. And then lower that right forearm, reach up and over across with the left. Ah. And then go ahead, torso down, lower the hand and sweep to the center again and enjoy nice lowering. Probably coming a lot closer, feeling comfortable and relaxed here in this nice fold. Next inhale, begin sweeping hands up, fingers drag, hands on knees, one nice healthy roll of the shoulders up and back, chest out. And press down. Beautiful. Let's open up the legs in a wide legged fold here. So just warming up the legs. We're going to take several seconds just warming into to this one as you slide the fingers forward gently. Just hang out and let these thigh muscles just calm and open. So it usually takes a good minute really to get the oxygen and the calming so that they, you know, chill out and you can lower a little bit. Don't ever push it, but you'll find that you naturally after several breaths can lower down. Maybe your forearms can go down. Maybe you're on a prop. Just breathe here. Bring lots of oxygen in. It helps with the lengthening of the muscles. 
And then sweep the hands over, reaching maybe for the shin or the ankle on the left leg. So torso down, lowering here. Maybe you flex your foot. Maybe you touch your toes. Just wherever you are, enjoy it. And let this healthy stretch, stretch just happen on its own. Lowering when you feel like you can do this. If you don't feel that, then just hang out where you are and breathe. Let the muscles get used to being here. One more full breath cycle here. And then lower the hands to the floor, sweep to the center, neutralize. Maybe you enjoy or observe that you're a little lower this time, okay? And then sweeping over to the right side, opening up the right leg. Yes, and the hips. And take that forearm down and reach over with the left, opening the chest. Bringing the chest back down, so down, stretch. And then lower the fingers and sweep to the front. And see where you are now in this final fold here. Maybe you come all the way down. Just a couple of breaths here. Maybe you can reach out and touch your toes. Next inhale with core, press that belly button against the spine, protecting it, bring it on up. Ah, and bring your feet together for a little cobbler pose here. So wiggle in. So you can have them close, really close up, pressing the knees down, opening the chest up. Or you can have them more in a diagonal, just wherever your body is. We start where we are. We meet the pose where we are and work from there. So if you want to hinge forward, oh, just feel the knees lowering toward the mat, opening up the hips here. And then folding, that feels good. And then gently on the next exhale, come on up. Bring the knees together. And let's just place the hands behind us, lift the chest up and do some nice little twists. We call this Marilyn Nasana after Marilyn Monroe, right? <laughs> uh -huh. Just feel all beautiful and sparkly. <laughs> And then just go ahead and roll over into tabletop. So, finding your tabletop, hands on the mat, knees under hips, hands under shoulders, and C curves or organic movement here, especially after the stretching and the hip work, I like to roll my hips around. Come into some cats and cows. Maybe in your cow, you tuck your toes back and give them a little stretch. So even when you're in cow and your belly's dropped, make sure that the navel's still active, still keeping the core in it. When you come into cat, really press that navel active up against the spine, creating all those strong muscles to protect and support your back for your posture. Yoga is about the spine, the posture, the breath, all of these things that bring longevity. A couple more cats and cows. And then come back into tabletop and let's just walk our hands around. Really good for the wrists. We'll just meet them however you can make circles and move them around, just giving them that opposite movement, countering the way that we always do things. So we wanna counter these normal movements that we always do so our body learns more flexibility. 
And then coming back into tabletop, let's bring our right leg under the left and sit back a little more hip work. So wiggle in so your, your rope comes in between. Settle in here and stretch. Feel the ribs open, expansion, the lats really reach, activating those lymph nodes. Great for breast health. Put those arms in it. Sweep your hands over to the left and find a nice stretch here. Leaning over, you'll feel it maybe in your right hip, maybe in your left. And you should be feeling it along the right ribs, all the way down. Then sweep to the front again. And then over to the right side. Stretch, wiggle in, finding new stretches, exploring ways to open up even more. Ah, don't lose that nice breath. And back to the center, one stretch here. And then gently coming up, unwinding here, a little wiggling and a tabletop before we move over to the other side. Taking the left knee, then placing it behind the right. And just finding a way to settle in here, wiggling in to try to balance yourself, stretching forward. <sighs> and then sweeping hands over to the right side, reaching. You may feel that a lot in your right hip, wherever you're feeling it, just breathe into that place and try to relax. Letting that Stretch of fashion muscle. Then sweep to the front, lower, and then to the left. Stretch and reach. Coming back around to the front again, and just come out of this, bringing that left knee, unwinding out of the right, that position in tabletop. And let's press up and sit back on our toes, a little reflexology here. So another, another counter pose, because our feet are always getting shoved into these shoes that they may be pretty, but they're not so great for our feet, right? So this counters it and brings health, prevents some of the deformity that can happen after wearing bad shoes for too long. And it's good for foot cramps too. So reflexology in our hands and feet connects to all of our body parts. Super, super good. Good stuff. Couple more breaths here. Open up the chest, sinking in, and then coming forward and tap those feet out. This should feel glorious. And then let's just come forward all the way on our belly, just sliding forward on the belly, hands to the side in cobra, bring those elbows up and just press up in cobra. So shoulder blades move down the back, feel the navel pressing, getting nice upper body strength, lower back, make sure the core is protecting it. Inhale, breathe up. Let's hold this for two more breaths. Strong pose. Working biceps and triceps. And then lower down, placing the arms to the side. We're gonna move into a couple of locusts. So gently inhale and bring feet and hands up. Just easy on the first one. Scanning your body. See if you can really feel the activation all the way from head to toe. Knitting your ribs in, opening the chest up. Maybe bring it up a little higher and lower down on one cheek. Take a nice full breath cycle. And then inhale, bring it up again. This time, if you wanna swim or fly, we're out of winter, so we're not doing snow angels. We'll do just angels in the air. <laughs> and then if you just want to hold it like Supergirl for two last two breaths, Superwoman. 
And then lower down, hands crocodile, bend the knees and windshield wiper. Yay. Then lower the feet, hands back by the chest. Sweep that left hand out, all the way out. And then that right hand is still by the chest. Press it over and come into this nice twist here while you're bending your right leg. Place that right foot down behind you. It'll open up. This is a beautiful hip opener and great for the shoulders. So you can bring that right hand closer into your chest and just balance here. One more full breath cycle. And then gently roll back over onto the belly. Bring that left hand into your chest like the cobra arm and then sweep the right out and press with that left hand roll over on that right hip and bend that left foot behind the right thigh there. And just breathe into this. Nice twist for shoulders and spine, spinal. One more breath here. Gently rolling back over. Crocodile your hands, bend your knees, and go ahead and windshield wiper. One last time. Then lower your feet, hands to chest, press back up and tabletop. Wiggle it out. Any movement. Again, I like to roll my hips around. I think this is so good. And tuck your toes under, really looking at your hands. Feel the strength of your hands, your palms into the mat, pressing out. Take a nice big inhale. Exhale, hips up, press back down, we're dog. Walk it out. So any movement that you need to do here, you wanna twist, bending one leg and the other as you slide back and forth. You can pedal, eventually trying to push your heels back gently onto the mat, maybe wiggling to make a bigger, wider, or not so wide down dog, just find where it's serving you. And let's take a nice inhale and then moving, exhale, let's move into plank, the hold plank. Just holding this here, building strength in upper body, shoulders over wrists, feel the core. And press back into downward dog, good. Good, walk it out. And let's walk our hands back to our feet. So let's have some fun here before we do just a little hang, holding your ankles and this is good for the brain, for the memory, good for balance. Balance is always good. And just walk. Let's do this elephant walk. It's fun. Make you smile too. Walk to the top of the mat and then walk back. Lifting your foot, holding ankles. Let's do that one more time. It's also good for your glutes and your thighs. And once you're back, just go ahead and hang. Nice big inhales and exhales. Try a collie breath, maybe. Super de-stressing. Exhale, stick your tongue out. Make a funny face. Open your eyes up. Ah, scary face, right? Do that a couple more times. Ah, shake your head. Just let it go. Let the stress go. Maybe picture frame your face now. Thumbs in the creases of your elbows. Waving or swaying from side to side. 
Ah. And release your fingers. Get that core engaged. Head and fingers come up last. Inhale, bring it up slowly. All the way to the top. I have dogs. I'm noticing all the dog hair now on my yoga mat. <laughs> <laughs> Once you're up, let's just do some of the noodle arms. I think this is so relaxing. Just let your arms just, yeah, be a noodle. And then just shake it. Do a little running in place. Shake it back and forth. Yeah, get that blood flowing. And then just find your way to the top of the mat. Good. Just dance it around. Get that energy going. Top of the mat, smiling. Really grateful that we've committed this time to be on the mat, to our breath, to our body. Inhale. Bring it up. Reach up. Make it big. Make it strong. Make it happy. Reaching up and then exhale. Perhaps the swan dive. Just watch your back. Make sure you got core. Swan dive can hurt your back if you're not engaging your core. So watch these bends, but enjoy it. Have fun, but be safe. Inhale, sliding up into halfway lift. Feel the spine just lengthening, telescoping out. The Gail always says in some of her classes, I love that visual, telescoping your spine out as you look. And now, next exhale, just forward fold again. Ah. Let's place our hands, plant them, and just step back again and plank. Right foot steps back first, perhaps this time, and the next time we'll do left foot. In plank, holding here. And let's just, for fun, take our right hand to our left shoulder, left hand to right shoulder. Let's do three more sets of that. Right hand to the shoulder. That's good. Left hand. Two. One. One. And one more for fun. Good. Lower down for your vinyasa or all the way into cobra to protect your wrists more. Coming up, up dog. Inhale, touch the toes. Exhale, down dog. Walk it out. Inhale, look at your hands on your exhale. Walk, step or jump forward. Wow. Inhaling, half lift, sliding up. Exhale, forward fold. Yes. Inhale, bring it all the way back up, reaching. And then exhale, let's do it again. Remember, this time we might step back with our other foot. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant hands, stepping back. Take your vinyasa. Or just go to down dog. Mindful that you're moving with breath. Walk it out. Inhale, look at your hands, press back, exhale, bring it forward. Wow. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, all the way up, reaching up. Reach and stretch, maybe wiggle. Coming in, press the shoulders down. Nice inhale again, and then exhale, sink in the chair. So, make sure your knees are aligned. Hips square. So just make sure that, maybe wiggle your hips around so you can find that square, square place. So both are the same level. Inhale, bring it up and reach. Straighten, reach, tuck the hips in. Really fire up the glutes. The glutes protect our back too, so it's really important in our hamstrings. So inhale, reach, exhale, sink with the glutes. Just fire them up, feel the activation in the body. Now bring your hands into your chest. Thumbs and sternum, come a little lower. Inhale, on your exhale, twist to the right. Maybe lock your arms. Looking out to the right, you wanna open up. Come back. And let's come back to the center. Do a little twist on the other side. Inhale. Exhale, twist to the other side. 
You want to open up? Come back. Come to center. Really fire up those glutes. And then exhale, hallelujah, forward fold. Let's open up our feet a little bit. Take the peace fingers, grab the big toes. Make sure your core is happening and then pull the toes, feel yourself, the lats. Pull that torso. Good, finally warm, it's been cold all morning. So flex those muscles. We want strong upper body. That's one of the longevity indicators because what's in your upper body, your lungs and your heart, right? So really flex those muscles, really feel the core active and the space across the back of your back. That's the largest space for our lungs is in our back. So good. And then release and now step on your palms. Moving into Padahastasana. So once you're on there, maybe your toes, massage your wrists. Maybe you kind of walk back and forth on your hands, giving a little counter movement, counter massage, placing weight on your hands. And then activate your core. Maybe you straighten your legs a little bit. Make the arms active and pull gently. Just encouraging the next level of expansion. Bring that breath in. And then release your hands. Ah. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, plant your hands. Take a vinyasa any way you want. So from downward facing dog, once you're here, let's breathe our right leg up, three-legged dog. Hips are square. Feel your hands balanced on the mat, pressing in, and then bend and stack. So your hip will turn out on the bend. Now that your shoulders stay square, open up and roll the ankle around. Don't lose the core. Don't lose the navel. Inhale, bring that leg back up. Press back. Let's come up on our tippy toes and bring our knee to our nose. Mm -hmm. Nice core work. Shoulder over wrist and bring that foot down in between the hands. We're going to slowly come up into crescent lunge. So slowly with balance with core, maybe hinging and reaching first, and then maybe flip your hands and scoop up. A lot of activation here. Ha! Ah, bring the breath in. And let's lower for like two dips here. Just two. Nice, yes. And then let's inhale and open up into warrior two. So sinking into warrior two. Let's go ahead and release the back hand and flip the front and come into peaceful. Come back into warrior two. Dip down. Come into extended side angle. From here, if you want to lower your hand to the floor, open up here in a nice twist. Mm -hmm. And let's take our arm two or three times round. You may want to follow your fingers. That's super good for your, your memory, for your brain. And then reverse. It's great for balance too. Good for the eyes. And then if you want to try a bind, just bringing your armpit, your shoulder low by your thigh, reach that right hand underneath to touch or wave to the left hand as it's around your back and then lift up if that's available and see if you can bring the shoulders up. There's always a challenge. Good. And when you're ready, just releasing the hands, come back into that nice open stretch, and then pressing up into warrior two. Yay. Straighten the front leg. You may want to wiggle in a little bit. We're going to move into triangle. So let's just do a little warm up into triangle, back and forth. A little lower each time. The core. On the next one, just really reach and lower. So feel your body is just so aligned and straight. Hips are tucked in. The movers could come by and wouldn't even bump you if they had too painful glass. 
Open the shoulders, open the breath. Hold the chest. And then inhale, come back up out of this, back into warrior two. Nice inhale and then bend all your hands down. Take a vinyasa. Next inhale brings the left leg up. Just really enjoy this warming up the stretch. Checking where your body is, where's your foot, how are your legs? Are you bringing oxygen in? Feel the power in your hands, then bend and stack. Keep the shoulders square, open up, flex, and rotate the foot. So movement, motion is lotion for the joints. Inhale, bring that leg back up. Come up on your toes, a little crunch here. Bring the knees into the nose. Ah, wave those shoulders over the wrist. Plant the foot in between the hands. And we're gonna do that hand forward or however you wanna come up in a crescent lunge. Reach and stretch. Active arms, really activate that body and scoop it up. Yes, crescent lunge, nice. And let's do three dips, one. But fire up those glutes when we do it. So you can step up our practice anytime by just working a little harder, activating those muscles and three. Okay, a nice big inhale. And we're gonna open up into warrior two on the left side. So finding that nice lowering. See if you can find a 90 degree angle. Active core, protect that spine, open your shoulders, arms. Open up the chest, bring the oxygen in. Release the back hand, flip the front, come into peaceful. And then come through into extended side angle. Opening up here, tuck the hips in, your left hand comes on your thigh. As you reach over with the right hand, good. Good, opening the chest, reach. And then lower that hand down. And open up with the right hand to the sky, left hand to the earth. Really stretch here, don't lose the breath. And then do three circles one way or two. Follow the fingers if you like. And reverse. And then see if you can find a bind. So work in those thighs, work in those glutes. Holding this pose here, get a little taste of power when we hold the poses. And then whenever you're ready, you release that left hand down, open the right, and then gently press back up into warrior two. You're feeling the muscles burn, that's good. It means you're doing the work, building strong bodies and bring that leg up. Any adjustment you need to make for triangle, Open up the chest, stretch the arms out, tuck those hips in. Keep those glutes in the game and just do a little warming up in the triangle, front and back. And then eventually reaching forward and lower that hand down. Open the right one all the way up to the sky. Lift the chest, open the shoulders. And then just lower wherever you are for your triangle. Just try to have that alignment. Inhale, bring that back up. Sink back into warrior two. Nice inhale and then windmill your hands around. Take a vinyasa. Ah. And now up, back, walk it out. And let's just walk up to our hands. Hang here for a second. And inhale, come all the way up. Bring the shoulders up and around and down. And reverse and down. 
planting that left foot into the mat. We're going to move into tree. So kickstand with the right. Do it slow. Find a drishti spot or bring your foot to your shin or bring it all the way up. So finding your spot of focus, breathing, maybe revisiting your intention. And then bring the foot forward with core, flexing the foot perhaps, open the chest, bring to the side, lift up with control, fire the glutes, helps with balance, then come back for warrior three. Lift up, really feel the balance here. Reach for arms up. Lower that back foot down. Prepare the feet and just release the hands. And you can hold your elbows or do a reverse prayer and flip it up. Ultimately, this is what we want to try to move toward. Lift the chest up, inhale, exhale, lower down into pyramid. Breathe here. Release the hands and we'll revolve the pyramid. Bring the right hand on the outside of the left foot. Feel free to find a block because this one's an intense stretch. So you can start with a block or however you want and then bring that left hand up and twist. If you're feeling really open, you can lose the prop. Just breathe into it. Hold for one more full breath cycle. Lowering the hands. Go ahead and step back, take a vinyasa, or just meet me in down dog. From down dog, look at your hands. On your exhale, bring it forward. On your inhale, half lift. Forward fold. Come on up, all the way, reach up to sky, to heaven, exhale, to dasana. Plant that right foot this time. Left foot preparing for tree, kickstand, however you want. Whew. Every side is different. Oh my goodness, I'm having trouble with this one today. Okay, here we go. And bring the knee forward, flex the foot. A lot of core, a lot of glutes. Open the chest to the side. And back for warrior three. Maybe feel the glutes active. Lift that leg up. If your balance is rocking it, take your time and just really enjoy that your own in that balance. We're going to eventually come back into pyramid feet. Good, Elisa. And hands behind again in prayer or holding your elbows. Lift the chest, nice big inhale, exhale, bring it forward. Breathing into this, opening the muscles in the leg. And then release the hand, same thing on this side. Just making sure these muscles are relaxed. Then take that left hand on the outside. You can bring your right hand to your hip before you bring it all the way up. Just find what feels to good, what feels good to you. Revolving your pyramid. Two breaths here. Exhale, bring your hands down. Step back, take a vinyasa, or just go to down dog. Oh, 
walk it out. Inhale, right leg up. Really open up here. We should be open. Had a lot of stretches here, a lot of hip work. Bend and stack. Open your hips. If you want to flip here, this would be the time to do it. Maybe come up on your toes a little and slide your left foot that's on the mat around as you teeter totter, bringing the hand out. And don't touch with the right toes, just playing with balance as you bring it all the way around, opening up the chest, or just staying in three legged dog or stack hips. Lift the hips up, one more breath. And gently coming back around, same, same way perhaps, just exploring degrees of balance. Eventually coming back with that leg up, three legged dog. Press the heel down on the mat. Inhale, come back up on your toes. Bring your knee, we're moving into pigeon, to your right elbow. And slide down, lowering to the mat for pigeon. There are options here if you don't want to do pigeon like this. You can get on your back and do supine pigeon or against the wall. Here, finding a prop perhaps. Unless you're super square. So just settling into pigeon, inhale. Lifting up, we're going to cascade three times. Exhale slowly. Chest stays open, eyes stay out until you get down. Then bring the chin to the chest and come up. Make it fancy with breath and movement. Two more times. Exhale, come down. Spider fingers. Inhale, last time. Bring in the breath. Really enjoy all the aspects of the pose. Exhale and melt. Pigeon. Last breath. Next inhale, gently, slowly, bringing yourself back up, moving your hands in, to open your shoulders up, sitting back in this, really engage the core. Let's reach forward with the left hand. Follow the fingers, inhale, bring them all the way around. Perhaps they tap the back leg. Perhaps the back leg comes up and you can bring the heel closer to your glute, feeling that stretch in that thigh muscle. Maybe you want to put the foot in the crease of the elbow and move toward mermaid. Now bring the right hand out, finding balance in this pose wherever you are. Open the chest, straighten the body, reach, and then follow the fingers back. Perhaps you come into full mermaid here, bring the hands locked, and then the clasp hands behind the head. Open the shoulders, lift the chest wherever you are. We're moving forward at our own time, at our own pace, making it healthy. Not competing with anyone, not competing with ourselves even. <laughs> Just enjoying where our body leads us. Next exhale, gently unclasp slowly, letting everything release down. Right hand comes to mat. Follow those left fingers all the way around. Straight body, active body. Bring that to the front. Beautiful. Move the prop onto the other side. Tuck the left toes back. So lift up with control. Lift that wing, that leg wing, that pigeon wing. Inhale, bring it all the way back up. Yeah. So if you want to stack or move your leg any, just to kind of work that out and then open it up and lower that leg. Walk out your dog. Next inhale brings the left leg up all the way. Stretch, breathe, bend, stack, roll, and flip on this side. Mm -hmm. oh, nice. One more breath here. And then gently, slowly bringing left hand around with the toes of the left foot. Come. Swivel around, inhale, left leg up, 
And then bring that knee over to the left elbow, shoulders over wrists, lowering down when you're ready for pigeon on the left side. Wiggling down to the mat, finding your pop, spider fingers, straighten the spine, create length. Supporting our height, keeping our height, keeping strong spine. Inhale, look up, exhale, melt down two more times. Let's hear the breath. Oh. And gently lower down and melt into your pigeon. Oh. One more breath. Next inhale, place those hands, maybe spider finger come up. With control, reaching out with the right hand. Inhale, follow the fingers back around slowly, meeting that right leg, perhaps bringing it up. See if you can match what you did on the other side, but knowing every side is different, reaching out with the left hand this time. Follow it up and around wherever you are, exploring, bringing oxygen in, lengthening your body. Just embrace the wellness and the strength that you're bringing into your practice, mind, body, spirit. One more breath here, open up and gently unclasp or begin coming out of this. Hand down. Right leg down, follow the right hand around, all the way, front, planting. Both hands, tuck that back feet, lift that wing up, and bring it up, ah, oh, nice stretch. If you wanna bend, move your hips around before you lower, leg down, walk it out, any movement here. And now we're going to move into Malasana squat. You have two choices, you can just jump, into it or we can you can join me in lifting that right leg up and come up on your left toes and then bring slowly bring that right leg on the outside of the right foot and then find your balance and lift up that left that back foot Ooh, I just lost mine really bring it up taking your time and then meeting that foot on the outside of the left hand and then lower into beautiful malasana squat So having a few breaths here, I welcome you, invite you to play with crow or crane if you want, or just play with rocking back and forth or placing your hands and putting weight on your triceps. So eventually you'll feel comfortable with that balance. Just, yeah, just play with that. Good for the upper body. Yeah, nice twists. I like that. That's good. You want to try that? That was lovely. Taking left arm maybe around left leg and twist. Good, Kathy. And then right one around, twisting here. Yeah, exploring different things that we can do in different poses. Eventually coming down out of this, bring the legs in staff. Take a nice big stretch up from staff into Pashimottanasana. Lengthen. Just breathe here a couple of breaths. And folding. Seated. And inhale, coming all the way up. Bring the feet up. We might run a minute late. I apologize. 
feet flat on the mat and just come into Navasana, a little boat before we lower into moving toward closing into Shavasana. So you want to lower and come up from canoe to boat, just working that core. And hold it up for three, two, one, and lower slowly onto the mat. All the way down. Ah, take a nice big stretch, flex and point your feet. Maybe bring your, your feet up for the last pose. Happy baby and rock from side to side. Holding the outside of the feet. Your arms are on the inside and just rock. Give yourself a nice massage. Press your sacrum down on the mat. Feel the spine roll out. Let your whole spine get a nice adjustment with this. And then press the knees down toward the mat. Ah, shoulder blades back in. And then release your legs. Take one more stretch. Really energize, tighten the body. Just really tighten it up. Make a fist. Feel the glutes fired up. Everything. Admire the strength in your body and how you work these muscles. Tense, tense, tense. And ah, melt down through complete relaxation. Maybe your toes come in together and kiss and let your feet flop out. Open your shoulders. Roll your shoulders into the mat, bringing your heart up and just... After one nice big breath, finding your breath cycle, melting. Welcome to Shavasana. Bringing your breath back in more deeply, re-entering your day with that breath. Feeling the tingling return to fingers and toes as you embrace small movements. Next inhale brings the hands up, stretching one way on your mat, feet the other. Opening your body, bringing the breath deeply in, then exhale, knees into chest as you give yourself one last nice hug, rocking from side to side and then coming over to your side of choice in fetal position. Taking one nice long full breath cycle here. And then pressing your hands gently, slowly bringing your body back up to meet me in the easy seated. Sukhasana, hands in prayer. Bring the chest up, shoulders back, glance up, knowing that you brought blessings, health, wellness into your life, into your mind, into your body. Let's inhale, bring hands all the way up in gratitude to God, to sky. <sighs> Exhale, releasing hands to forehead in peace. Let's all say Om Shanti. Shanti means peace. So a nice big inhale. And then Om Shanti. Om Shanti. Hands to heart center. The light in me always honor the light in you, and may we always, all of us, always come from a place of compassion. Namaste.